Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Pack. The server has been updated. We now have one of my favorite mods of all time in the pack. Applied Energistics 2. I love it. I really love this mod. This is one of my favorite mods of all time. Uh, it took a while for it to be updated to 1.10.2. Uh, it was kind of stuck back in 1.7, and it's now updated, and it's now in the pack, and the server has been updated and everything. So, um, we are going to be working on Applied Energistics 2 probably for a couple episodes, actually. Um, right now, Refined Storage is our primary storage system. However, we're going to be swapping, maybe not all of this, but a good chunk of this over to Applied Energistics. Um, and there's a couple reasons for that. So, a lot of people have asked me, uh, well, and actually, I should also probably say, I streamed earlier today, and I did a whole bunch of uh, Applied Energistics stuff, you know, gathering Certus Quartz and... Uh, all that kind of stuff. See, we got a bunch of Certus Quartz and stuff in here, doing kind of the, some of the preliminary stuff that you have to do for Applied Energistics. And a lot of people asked, uh, one question that came up very often was, uh, why have Applied Energistics 2 if we've got refined storage? Why double up and have both of those in the pack? Basically, there are some things that Applied Energistics 2 does significantly better than refined storage, specifically auto crafting. Auto crafting is really the big one. It's a lot, um, the auto crafting in applied energistics is just a lot less limited than in refined storage. Sure, you can set up auto crafting with refined storage, but it's a lot more of a pain. Um, and applied energistics does it very, very well. Also, another thing is we've gotten some reports that refined storage causes a lot of lag. Personally, I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's refined storage combined, combined with all the other mods in the pack that are causing lag. I don't know. But either way, um, we've also kind of... Uh, we're hoping that Applied Energistics 2 will also give us better performance uh, than refined storage as far as like server performance and stuff like that. So that's another reason. And honestly, I just really like Applied Energistics 2. It's just a really fun mod and it's going to be a lot of fun to set up a really amazing AE system uh, in this pack. So I mentioned that I streamed earlier today and I wanted to go over that super quickly. We upgraded during the stream, we upgraded this um, void ore miner to the tier four or minor. We previously had the tier 2, and we added a whole bunch of these speed modifiers. So now, we're getting all sorts of resources coming in from that. Uh, and a lot of that is Certus Quartz. We're also getting more Eulorium uh, as well. So that's very good. That's very good too. I recently just processed all my Eulorium ore, but the Void Ore Miner is doing good things for us, for sure. Um, then, after the stream, I did a little bit of work off-camera as well. This was our reactor room. You may remember how hideously ugly <laughs> this room looked at the end of last episode. Uh, so I basically just decorated this out a little bit. Um, didn't really change anything with the setup too much, uh, but basically just de detailed the room and, and made it look a lot more aesthetically pleasing. So, this glass, this is a chiseled version of glass. I think it's like unbalanced leadstone glass or something like that. It looks kind of like a grate in the floor, and I thought this would be really cool to use as one of our floor textures so that you can kind of look down and see the machinery underneath. I just thought it was kind of a cool thing. So I wanted to show you this real quick since we didn't do it on camera, but this is our reactor room. We do have a refined storage terminal right here. Whew, man, that server lag. Eesh, that's a little rough. But anyway, in today's episode, we are going to be getting into Applied Energistics 2, which, as I said, is one of my favorite mods, for sure. So, um, I've done some things. I went and I gathered a whole bunch of quartz. Uh, turns out someone on the server actually has a quartz dimension, which is very helpful. Uh, but I gathered a bunch of that. I got a bunch of Certus Quartz and Charged Certus Quartz. Uh, also, all of the presses, you have the four presses from Applied Energistics. I do have all of those. 
Uh, I did actually find all but one of them, but for those of you who are playing on a server and don't want to go looking for meteors forever, they all actually have a crafting recipe as well if you want to just make them, uh, which I think is really good because anytime you're playing on the server, those meteors can get uh, searched and found and, and basically used very, very quickly, and it can make it a real pain to get started with the mods. So just so you guys know, there is a crafting recipe for all the presses as well. But yeah, I think that's basically all the introduction stuff out of the way. Let's go ahead and start getting into this mod. So, uh, Applied Energistics it is a mod very similar to Refined Storage. It's the AE system, uh, or ME system, I should say, AE. Anyway, uh, and there's a lot of kind of very interesting stuff in this. So if we look at Applied Energistics, I'm going to... I'm going to do this in such a way that those of you who are not very familiar with this mod uh, aren't completely lost, <laughs> but I'm also going to do this in such a way that those of you who are familiar with Applied Energistics aren't just going to be hearing tons and tons of information that you already know. So basically, you set up a computer, it has drives, it holds all the items, and then you can add all sorts of stuff to it, like auto-crafting and all sorts of craziness. Uh, and it's amazing. I love this mod so much. But... Uh, Getting started with it is a little bit trickier. So there's a few things we're going to need. We're going to need uh, some crystal growth accelerators, which I actually have made already. We're going to need a charger, which I already made. And then we're going to need an inscriber. So let's take a look at this guy. Uh, the inscriber looks like I need two sticky pistons. So let's go ahead and make... Hmm, do I want to do one of those? I'm almost tempted to make four inscribers, one for each of the the things. Hmm. Let's just leave it at, as the one for now, and we can always upgrade it later. Also, I have a ton of diamonds here that I should probably... Hmm. Let's just see. If I just put my diamond ore into, like, a sag mill or something, how many... That'll give me two diamonds. Crusher... Crusher would do one with a 20% chance for four. That's, eh. Alloy smelter, sag mill. Man, some of this stuff. Enrichment chamber, precision saw. Oh, no, that's, yeah. So maybe I'll just, just in the interest of time, I might just toss these into, like, the sag mill for now. Although, let's actually check real quick. If I look at the sag or the uh, the sag bill again, mm, doesn't look like increasing. Oh, it's only a sixty percent chance of an additional diamond. Uh, maybe I should just do these by hand. You know what? I think I'm gonna do that. Let me uh, let me gather all these diamonds real quick because we actually need a decent amount of them for applied energistics. So let me, uh, let me get all these going and I'll be back with you in a sec. All right, guys, I am back. So we got all the diamonds. They're good. Couple stacks. Should be good on diamonds for a while. Anyway, so let's see how much of this I remember. I know that we're going to need a couple things. Let's see what I already have in here. I've got an energy acceptor that's going to allow us to use RF power to power applied energistic stuff, which is going to be important because normally it actually takes its own uh, power type called AE. Uh, we're gonna need, I'm actually gonna need a bunch of these cables. Uh, let's take a look at Fluix cables real quick. That's these right here. We're gonna need a bunch of quartz fiber. So, can I get this by just throwing this into like a sag mill or a crusher? Yes. Okay, good. So, let's just get... Quartz, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Where's my crusher? Right here. We'll just toss those in there and let those do their thing. There we go. That should speed it up significantly. All right, now we got a bunch of quartz dust. Fantastic. So, let's try this again. I know we're going to need a bunch of these Fluix crystals, so let's make a whole bunch of these quartz fibers. We'll just toss those in there. And then let's make a stack of these Fluix cables. That should be enough for the time being. I've got my inscriber. 
Is there anything else that I'm going to need off the top of my head? Don't need the vibration chamber. We're going to need some of this other stuff later once we get into drives and controllers and all that kind of crazy stuff. Uh, but I think... Wait, do you actually need the pure ones for that? I feel like you do. Hold on. Where'd that go? Controller right here. Yeah, you need the pure flux crystals. Okay. Anyway, so now I'm getting kind of sidetracked. So, let's see. Oh, that was the other thing I needed. I knew I was forgetting something. Let's grab ourselves a dimensional tran... That's not a dimensional transceiver. A dimensional transceiver. <laughs> there, there we go. Uh, and we might as well grab this guy, too. And let's see about setting this up. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Right here. This will be fine. We'll just kind of set up right here. This is going to be kind of a temporary setup for now, uh, but we'll have a better setup going in a minute. Oh, and you know what? I totally forgot something as well. We're going to need at least a couple energy conduits and item conduits. There we go. Okay, so let's make sure that this guy is set up to receive power on there. Okay, good. Uh, it's not sending any items, which is good. That's what I want. And we actually have plenty of charged Certus Quartz, so I don't really need to worry about the whole let's make charged Certus Quartz thing, because that's easy. So, let's see what we need. We are going to need, uh, a water bucket, which I don't seem to have, but I do have water. It's, uh, I do have a bucket and I do have water over here. So that'll do. Let's pop out this right here and plop down these four crystal growth accelerators and put water in between. And then we need to essentially run power to all these guys. Uh, actually, can I just put the energy acceptor right there? Device online. Okay, that seems to have worked. Um, there we go. Awesome. So that actually saves me a lot of time. Because I don't need to run a whole bunch of energy conduits and stuff. So, that's all good. Now we also need the inscriber to go somewhere, but first let's go grab ourselves some regular quartz, some charred Certus quartz, and some redstone. And we're just going to toss those in there. I should probably turn off my coin of fortune first, otherwise this isn't going to work very well. There we go. Just toss those in there, and those are all going to get together. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't work, actually, in that water puddle. Maybe I have to do it over here. Is that going to work? Uh. What? Oh, Guardian. Hold on. Go away. I'm trying to do things. Why are those not... Did I grab regular quartz? Regular quartz? Oh. I didn't grab charge Certus Quartz. Dirt dirt. Dur. That would dirt that that would do it. Let's try with charged Certus Quartz. There we go. Much better. Okay, there we go. Now those should turn into Fluix crystals. Like so. We'll wait till they all stop doing that. Because since they're kind of spewing everywhere, and that should give me, like, six stacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Is that right? Six stacks? Yeah, because I did, uh, I did the recipe three times. Okay. So, we've got that going. Let's toss all of those over here, and then, uh, we need to see Fluix Seeds is Sand and Fluix Dust. So... Let's grab ourselves some of those crystals. Let's grab like three stacks and toss them into the crushing factory. Like so. 
There we go. And then let's grab some sand and combine those. And that will make these seeds like that. And then we should be able to take these seeds and toss them in over here like that. And they will grow. The crystal growth accelerators will kind of do their thing and turn them into fully grown pure Certus Quartz crystals. They're going to grow into, or I'm sorry, pure Fluix crystals. They're going to grow into these things. It'll take a little while, but it seems to be working, and this stuff will not despawn on its own. So that's good. Now, let's start looking at the stuff that we actually need. So if we want to get an ME system set up, we're going to need an ME controller, which is going to require this stuff, and we're going to need one of these inscribers. So let's make one of these. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's put an item conduit here. Why is that connected to the energy acceptor? Huh, I didn't know that those could connect. That doesn't really matter, but anyway. Uh, let's go the chest. Let's just grab a couple. We're also going to want some speed upgrades, for sure. Some of these acceleration cards. So that's going to be very important. Uh, but let's go put an inscriber here. With another item con... Guardian? No. Not a good time. I need to get the thingy that... I need to get, like, the guardian charm. So that those guys leave me alone. It's super annoying. Anyway... Uh, where is my Yetta Wrench? There it is. Uh, and actually, that and that can go in there. So let's get rid of that. Put a chest there. Change that to insert. Put an item conduit up here and a chest there. Change that to extract always, and that to insert. And then this thing also takes AE power, not RF. So we're going to have to throw a Fluix crystal up here so that this thing actually gets power. And it's not getting power. So, looks like we're going to have to do this after all. Let's put that right there. Still no power, huh? Oh, actually, you know what? I think this thing, if I remember correctly, I think this thing only accepts power from one side or something goofy like that. Not that side. Not that side. Is it the front? No. It's not the front. Why is this thing not getting power? This is set to receive, right? Yep. Insert. Um. Extract. Did they, like, change the energy acceptor? Because I feel like this thing should have power right now. Um. What if we move this guy up to there? Oh, what? I didn't even know that had that capability. That's interesting. Hmm. This is strange. This works so this has changed a little bit. Like I don't remember this. Hmm. I wonder if it's This is set to receive, right? Let's try send. Did that No, that didn't change it either. Hmm. 
I am very confused. Let me see if I can get this figured out, guys. I'll be back with you in a sec. All right, guys, I am back. I figured out what the problem is. Uh, this actually runs on RF. It says AE when you look at the tooltip, but it runs only on RF, apparently. Like, it works just fine now. So, I don't know. One of those weird things, I guess. Maybe something goofed up when the mod was ported, or I, I don't know. Either way. I got it figured out now. So let's put a thingy down here. Make sure that's set to insert. Let's get rid of this so I can actually get down here. Make sure this is extract always, always good. We'll put this guy here and then we're going to put another item conduit right there with a chest here. Make sure that's extract always and that that is set to insert. Okay, so what we have here is basically a poor man's automated press system, okay? And, oh, by the way, all of our pure, fluor our pure fluix crystals are done, so that's good. Um, so, the way that this is going to work, if we grab some silicon, let's just grab a few stacks, and, uh, oh, and you'll want to make sure that you actually... This is how it normally looks when it's placed. You make sure you want to rotate this just once. Um, so what we'll want to do is put our silicon press in here like that. And then all these silicon up here. And these will come in. They'll get pressed. And then they'll get poofed out into this chest, giving us printed silicon. Now, I want to speed up this process very significantly, so I want to make some acceleration cards as soon as possible. And I'm going to need some calculation processors for that. That's going to be uh, pure certus quartz, it looks like, to do that. So how do I make pure certus quartz? Uh, oh, man. I need to call. I need to hide all these facades. Let me see. Hiding mode, true. Uh, control. There we go. That should hide the 20,000 pages of facades. There we go. Much better. Okay. Uh, so, pure Certus Quartz. Drop a Certus Quartz seed made from Certus Quartz dust, dust and sand into a puddle of water. So, if I grab some Certus Quartz dust, which is something I'm going to need. And we can just use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks of this. We'll throw our compressed Torturino up there. Uh, throw those into the crushing factory like so. Give us all of these. There we go. That gives us our Certus Quartz. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that and combine all of these. And this will give us a ton of pure Certus Quartz, which is good, because we're, we're going to need massive, massive quantities of it. So that's all good. And there we go. All right. Then we take that back to our Crystal Acceleration. Good. Make sure my, uh, my Coin of Fortune is off. And Control-Q to throw all the stacks into there where they can turn into pure Certus Quartz. In the meanwhile, this will continue making us printed silicon. So that's all good. The charger I don't actually need right now, but I would basically set it up the same way as the press. Uh, and I can use that to turn regular Certus Quartz into charged Certus Quartz. As I said, though, don't really need it right this very second. So as soon as these guys are done, uh, we'll be able to make a bunch of calculation presses and therefore make the stuff we need to make acceleration cards and speed up this process significantly. So give me a second, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back. So we've got all of our pure Certus Quartz crystal, and I've got 32 printed silicon here. So we're going to put the calculation press in, and then I'm just going to manually put a couple of these in. Uh, let's do one, two, three. There we go. Let's make sure that we are making four of these printed calculation circuits. And then let's take a look at those acceleration cards right here. And I'm going to need three calculation processors. So I'm also going to need a little bit of redstone. Or I'm, I'm, I want four of those, I should say. I think I said three a minute ago, but that's okay. We're going to want four. 
So as soon as these are all done, that appears to be the last one right there. Do the press. There we go. Now, this you can automate uh, <laughs> essentially by tying other things into it, and eventually we will. But for the moment, I'm just going to do one of these to make our four acceleration cards. We'll automate this as time goes on. For the moment, oh, no. There we go. For the moment, we're going to keep it simple and just give ourselves enough to make the acceleration cards to actually speed this thing up so it doesn't take forever to do this. Oh, also, if you are new to Applied Energistics, do not try to grow those seeds without the Crystal Growth Accelerators. It will take literally hours, like real-life hours. I think it's like eight hours of real-life time or something ridiculous like that. Um, so yeah, make the Crystal Growth Accelerators. They're really not that hard to make. <laughs> you won't regret it. So let's see. Without the acceleration cards, one, two, three... 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000. Basically 6, 7 seconds, something like that, to make one of these calculation processors. Now, with the acceleration cards, um, you know what, let's just run back. Let's just go over here to our actual refined storage system, do this. I'm just going to put all this stuff away. And we need these guys. We'll make two. And then we'll just combine those like this. I'm going to make three acceleration cards. And now we can toss those in here like this. And if we grab our silicon press and a bunch of silicon, you can see just how much faster this goes. Like, it's significantly faster. So it'll, it'll, oh, ah, guardians, really? Leave me alone, stupid thing. Um, anyway, so you can see, it's going to speed through these a lot faster. And we're going to need a lot of silicon, because basically everything in Applied Energistics is going to require processors for the most part of some sort, either logic or uh, calculation, or what's the other one? Engineering, I think. And all of those are going to require silicon. So silicon is kind of the backbone of this mod in a lot of ways. And we're going to need a lot of silicon and a lot of these printed silicon circuits uh, to advance in applied energistics. So now that we have a lot of that stuff rolling in, we can look at making some of this other stuff. I'm going to need an engineering processor. And the way that we make that Oh, that's the wrong one. We'll go engineering press. And then I need, you may have guessed it, a diamond. I want to get the ME controller going here. So we'll toss this that in and this in. That'll make our engineering circuit. And then I need a redstone. And we go boop. Boop. Oh, wait. Boop, boop, boop. Like that. That makes our engineering processor. And what else did we need? We're going to need skystone blocks, which are skystone smelted up. I did gather a fair amount of skystone. So let's go skystone. Let's grab a couple stacks of that and throw it into the smelting thing. It's actually a pretty decent looking block too. Like just to if like if I wanted to use it for building or something. Like it's it doesn't look too bad. It's not a bad looking block if you ask me. I kind of like it. Um but anyway, let's toss all of that in here and then we need to make ourselves the ME controller right here. So there we go. That is kind of the backbone of your ME system, because this is what you're going to connect all the things to. We're also going to need an ME drive right here, and that's going to require two more of those engineering processors. So 
Let's grab ourselves some more diamonds. I'm actually just going to do a whole stack because we're going to need a bunch. And we'll put that in there. And we'll do two diamonds like so. Grab those. And then we need, we have this, we have this. Okay, that's all good. So, boop, boop, boop. And, boop, boop, boop. There we go. Ah. Guardian? This Guardian just will not leave me alone. He's been bothering me all episode. Like, <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. It's getting a little insane. Um, let's sleep real quick. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, good. So now we have the stuff we need to make the Emmy drive. Uh, let's just toss it in there. And there's that. So this basically is, this is essentially our, our refined storage drive. It holds all the disks that contain all of your stuff. And then we'll need a whole bunch of actual drives. I usually go with the 16K storage drive. Uh, there's differing sizes, um, but I, I find, at least in my opinion, the 16Ks are generally the ones that give you the best balance between storage and cost. So uh, there's the 1Ks, the 4Ks, the 16Ks, 64Ks, and the 64K is the highest, but I find that the 16K is really the best one to go with, uh, at least in my opinion. And also, I should probably mention, refined storage and applied energistics work a little bit differently when it comes to how they store items, okay? So let's toss that in there, and let's just get these turning into circuits uh, while I talk about this. So applied energistics stores items in drives, just like refined storage does. They're very similar in that way. However, refined storage will hold however many items. So a 16K storage disk in refined storage will hold 16,000 items. A 16K storage disk in refined storage, or I'm sorry, in applied energistics, will also hold a ton of items. However, it can only hold up to 63 types of items, and that's the important part, which means that if you have something like armor, like if you look in here and you've got all your armor and swords and like if I, if I do a search in here for sword, look at all these swords I've got. I've got tons and tons of swords, and since these guys don't stack... These would take up a ton of storage space in Applied Energistics. In Refined Storage, it doesn't matter how many stacks of items or how many different types of items. It's all the same. It's all just one, one item out of the 16,000. So that is one difference. Uh, and uh, that's really why I find that the 16K drives for uh, Applied Energistics are kind of the sweet spot where you can hold a lot of items, but it also doesn't get filled up super, super quickly just by the fact that you've got, uh, you know, multiple types of items and stuff. 16K seems to be kind of the sweet spot. They're not too expensive, but they're still uh, big enough that they, you know, adding a couple makes a big difference. So that's just kind of been my experience, and that's what I intend to do here in Hermit Pack is have a whole bunch of 16K drives, because I, I really don't think the 64Ks are worth it. Like, yeah, they hold a ton of items, but they can still only hold 63 types of items, and anything that I have an absolutely exorbitant amount of, like cobblestone or regular stone or the 1.5 million pineapples that I have, you know, any of that kind of stuff, is going to have a quantum storage unit uh, with a external storage uh, thing on it. It's not that stuff is not going to be stored within the actual ME system. Because it would just take up so much space when I can put it in like a storage drawer or a quantum storage unit or something like that. So that's kind of the plan. Um, but what I'm going to do between episodes, I think, is make uh, some of these drives, make some of the stuff, make a whole bunch of these presses and uh, logic circuits and all that kind of stuff. I just wanted to kind of share 
starting out Applied Energistics and talk a little bit about why Applied Energistics and Refined Storage are both in the pack and some of the differences between them. But guys, unfortunately, I'm out of time for this episode. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.